as U.S. military moves into Palau, China watches intently. In a recent meeting between the Navy Secretary and the President of Palau, the U.S. signaled a commitment to enhanced presence here and for more U.S. military activity in the future. Washington, the United States is stepping up its military presence and activity in and around the small island nation of Palau in the Philippine Sea. A strategic location coveted by Pentagon planners as the U.S. looks to expand its footprint in the region. The past two months have seen visits by both the Secretaries of Defense and the Navy, where commitments were offered about more U.S. attention to the country. According to meeting notes seen by Breaking Defense, the President of Palau, Tommy Remengesa, recently handed letters to the two U.S. officials in which he asked the U.S. to consider building a new base in his small nation of 17,000 inhabitants. The letter, passed to Defense Secretary Mark Esper and Navy Secretary Kenneth Braithwaite, said the archipelago boasts port facilities, secondary airfields, law enforcement training grounds and maritime enforcement and surveillance facilities, which can be used as opportunities to strengthen U.S. military readiness. The ask falls squarely within the emerging U.S. military strategy in the region which revolves around distributing forces to more places, with smaller footprints than the mega bases on Guam, Okinawa, and Japan. Defense and State Department officials have embraced Romanchesa's eagerness to draw closer to the United States, and there are signs of progress in getting agreements signed and begin moving forward. One state official, speaking on condition of anonymity, said we have a great relationship with the Republic of Palau, and look forward to finding ways to strengthen our cooperation in areas of mutual security interests. They added, however, that the sensitive discussions between I is the advantage in the field. Learn how Raytheon intelligence and space is enabling soldiers to accelerate decision making. Ramen Jesa is clearly ready for those talks to move along. Under the compact of free association between the two countries signed in 1994, the U.S. is obligated to defend for the country, while allowing citizens of Palau to serve in the U.S. armed forces. We should use the mechanisms of the compact to establish a regular U.S. military presence in Palau, the president's letter said. The U.S. military's right to establish defense sites in the Republic of Palau has been underutilized for the entire duration of the compact, signed in 1994. In his meeting with Ramen Jesa, Braithwaite stressed Palau's strategic location which is extremely important to U.S. presence in the region, according to the meeting notes. The secretary also made a commitment to enhanced presence here and for more U.S. military activity in the future. There has already been significant movement 